Well, there's a great shot of the horses lining in behind the Metro Home Building Center starting gate for race number six. It is the start of the pick five. Let's go back upstairs for the race call with Vance Cameron. Dividend day. Rocky's world. All out. Whitefish Flash, Smiley Bayama. Giant Slayer, JD's Double Dose, Brookdale Buster. Top of the stretch. Here they come. And away they go. Off and pacing and all out is the first one out. Towards the rail, Dividend Day is second. Rockies World third. Smiley Bayama fourth. Whitefish Flash at the rail fifth. Into the turn six. That is Giant Slayer. Then in seventh, JD's Double Dose, the early trailer. Brookdale Buster, the early leader, is all out for Adam Murner on route to the opening quarter mile. Tucked away for a two-hole ride is Dividend Day. Up into third, Rockies World. Fourth up the rail, Smiley Bayama. White Fish Flash goes fifth. Then in sixth, towards the inside is Giant Slayer. JD's Double Dose is seventh, and the trailer, Brookdale Buster, 30. And a one-fifth, that's unstressful here. Midway around the turn they go, and it's all out in complete control for Murner in the two hold it's dividend day the backfield they're in motion now starting first up on the outside third Smiley Mayama in at the rail fourth that's Rocky's world fifth on the outside giant slayer white fish flash is six seventh on the outside JD's double dose then the trailer is Brookdale Buster one minute and two-fifths, the opening half mile. He's fresh off a win in 56 and one, and he's a leader to three quarters. That's all out on the lead. Second is dividend day. Smiley by Yama stalls third on the outside. Fourth towards the rail, Rockies World. Fifth on the outside, Giant Slayer. White Fish Flash is six. JD's double dose seventh to railing the field. Brookdale Buster won 29 and four was three quarters. He hasn't seen a challenger yet, and he's homeward bound all out. Dividend day, a perfect ride on the outside. Third at the rail, Rockies World. Deep stretch now. Dividend day in line to Kenny Murphy on the line. Time for the mile in one, 58 and three. Well, All Out puts in a great trip here uh, tonight. Uh, did all the road work and just gets nabbed late by uh, by the one. Yeah, Lee, again, we talked about this horse in the pre-race dividend day who had been drawing the outside post, and I mentioned in the pre-race he got inside here for Kenny, and he's going to have a real nice trip. Well, All Out wanted to uh, cut it out on the front, 30 and 1, good rated, 1 minute and 2 half uh, by Murner. Three quarters, 129 and 4. He's still bossing it there, but uh, Kenny Murphy is just watching it all unfold up front, and then they drive on home, and you can see here now as Kenny angles out and takes his shot at all out and is going to get up to get him right at the wire here tonight dividend day wins it for kenny murphy here 1160 on the nose they're in the red source winner circle next My very first time visiting Prince Edward Island, we took the ferry. I remember the excitement of breaking away from the mainland. That never left me the whole time we were there. It felt like a real adventure. Naturally, I keep coming back. And so does that very same feeling. The moment I get on the PEI ferry,
Well, trainer Fred Painter has turned him into a real nice raceway horse. Dividend days in the sixth race winner's circle. Bay pacing gelding four by Maripan Gigolo. Off the pro bono best dam, Divine Justice. Owned by Fred Painter, Debbie and Neil Ramsey. Fred is the trainer with Kenny Murphy in the driver's seat to guide him to a new pacing record of 158 and three fives. Dividend day in the sixth. 